Excuse the mess. Another bottle broke. It's no big business. Are you sure you're all right? You seem a little overwhelmed. Uh, a bottle fell from its shelf. No big business, Mr. McRaith. Happens all the time. Are you all right? If you must know, sir, I have a drinking problem. Ah, really? <laughs> I do. My liquor disappears. My bottles fall to the floor and break, though I'm nowhere near. Tis a drinking problem indeed. <laughs> Objects inexplicably vanishing, moving or breaking. Either you're haunted or you're clumsy than you think. Haunted, you say? Ooh, well, Your Majesty, why not? As the saying goes, when life gives you a torrent of shit, may as well be haunted. You could be in danger. To be haunted is really good. Well, now, that is bad news. Which is good, because I don't believe in good news. I'm offering you my help. Can you afford to refuse it? I don't believe in helping hands either. But if you want to do whatever it is you do, please feel free to do it. Let's start. When did the bottle breaking start? I don't know. I gave up on keeping track of time or things. Normally, if a bottle disappears, I drank it and forgot. But I'm not wrong about this. In quiet moments, I hear the bottle glass crack. When I'm not there, the liquor moves about. Other times, they dare to fall of a sudden out of nowhere and break upon the floor. The shelves are straight and proper stacked. I had Ishmael check. It is a mystery, right enough. Ishmael and you were close, I believe. Oh, how folk love to talk. They're wrong. There's nothing improper between me and Ishmael. He works for me, and we enjoy each other's company. He's a good friend who lives upstairs. I have my own little house across the way. Ah, oh, talk of an angel. Hear the flutter of his wings. Phoebe, what's the matter? Oh, good day. What can I well, do? Well, it's just another bottle broke. I'd blame my butterfingers, but Mr. Vanisher here thinks we may have a ghost. God take my soul. I'm sorry. The spilled liquor. The stink. Come now. Come now. I'm sorry. All is well, Ishmael. What's happening? Breathe. Just breathe. You're having a panic attack? It's just another worry fit. You'll be fine. When he gets back on his feet, let's look around. I think he's having a panic attack. Broken glass. She said bottles in her house shifted and fell. We should check it out. Half our operation wiped out at a stroke. Curses are bad for business. Hmm, nice abacus. Imagine trying to use one of those after a bottle of rough gut. Poor Ishmael has fits of worry. I feel like he panicked when I mentioned the ghost. Mm, maybe he knows. Maybe he's the one that's haunted. The governor disliked Mistress Walcott's manner. What a surprise. What can a ghost only communicate by breaking wee bottles? An insidious ghost. Trying to slowly drive its victim crazy. Maybe. I'm keeping track of their. They've been playing for years. I'm keeping the score. Either Ishmael's getting better or maybe he's getting worse. Constance. For Constance. 
Phoebe is a painter. This is just an easel. No paints. Unfinished work. Why would you name a painting before starting it? Phoebe Walcott's done well for herself. Her own warehouse and pier at Covenant Beach. The abandoned building we saw by the beach, maybe. A ghost was here, not long ago. Oh, what? I know Phoebe and Ishmael are friends, but it was a generous will. Our shy, bottle-breaking ghost also hides things. Why the will? Everything Ishmael has, he gets from her. Perhaps the ghost believes he's taken advantage. Phoebe likes a drink. Or five. Maybe that vexes our mysterious ghost. This is sad as it is disturbing. Despite her defiance, her past butters her. I doubt there's anything more to be found here. Let's go back to the store and ask a few more questions. Did she have a child? Perhaps. Have you found your ghost? How is Ishmael? Feeling better, is he? He's cleaning up the broken glass. I've buggered off till he's finished, and you should too. Would you know, by any chance, what, what pulls the trigger on his crises? He deals with his pain as best he can, like all of us. You leave him alone now, yeah? I'm sorry, I must insist. You, Your Majesty, are tugging at my berries now, and it vexes me. I'm here to protect you from a ghost, Mistress Walcott. Ishmael's condition may be important. Ishmael Lord just needs a drink. He has a past, and because of it, when he gets the anxieties, he collapses. It's how he is, and he won't take his medics. Well, that's all right, because I can easily drink enough for two. Your troublesome ghost meddles with more than your booze. It also hid your will. I knew things were vanishing. It wasn't just the liquor. Whose ghost do you think might hide your liquor in your will? Sounds like my long-dead husband's particular brand of mischief. Oh. Ghosts may linger long in the invisible before returning. If you've liquor stocked elsewhere, I'd like to check it. I would too, sir. But I abandoned my warehouse some time ago and I've since lost the keys. Ishmael may have spares. His room is upstairs, right over our heads. A trusted friend, is he? Despite his efforts to keep me alive, I consider him my one and only friend. Yeah. Yeah. I must. You have a ring. I'm buying it. Thank you for your time. No matter. I don't go upstairs though. Oh, stairs. <laughs> Red, I can't manifest anymore. Wet sand. Did Ishmael go to the sea recently? Ah, the warehouse by the beach. by Phoebe Walcott's warehouse. Was Ishmael running his own business behind his drunk boss's back? This Bible really annoyed him. I hope he kept his opinion to himself. Games of strategy, games of chance. Why did Bennett Lord not kill me instead of you, my love? Why did I not find the strength to kill him then? I tried, my love, I tried so hard, but his men pinned me to the ground. I still can hear his drunken voice above the pain and rage after I hit him in the face and eye for an eye he claims so they took mine. 
Why was I not with you when he strangled you? I can still smell liquor on his breath, on your hair, on my face when he spat on me. We knew Bennett Law was a bad master. I should have found a way to pay our freedom back before it was too late. To save us from the nightmare of the indentured servitude. I have been a coward and now I must pay for by surviving you, my dear Bess, and not being able to punish your murderer. I am a coward for not stopping poor Phoebe from drinking. For all my sins, I shall expel. A widow, drunk and inconsolable. And a widower, sober and inconsolable. Hmm. Also, a shy, bottle-breaking ghost. That's not a lot to go on. I'm with you once more. Alright. So our mysterious ghost also took time to hide that key. Must be important. Oh wait. I was done with this room. Oh. Ishmael took a risk keeping this. Especially around here. Was he scared of a ghost? I'd like to ask him about that. What exactly does this ghost want? In a rug, there's no clear pattern. Banisher rule number one. A ghost always lingers for a reason. Let's have a chat with Ishmael Law. Mr. Law? How can I help you, sir? Kind of easy to work for someone who drinks so much. Phoebe Walcott deals with her pain the only way she knows. But you, you dislike heavy drinkers, don't you? My friend is wounded by the horrors of the world. She drinks so that she does not weep. But I weep enough for two. You had a, a fit of worry. Not the first, I gather. What scared you? You embarrass me, sir. No need to be embarrassed, Mr. Law. But I do need the information if I'm to end this haunting. My fits, sir, being the work of no ghost, shall not be your business neither. He suffers in silence, just like his friend. <laughs> The villagers burned the governor's ghost wards, but you kept one in your room. Why? The wards were sent by God. Yes, I keep one in my lodgings. The better to be safe from evil. Since you deposed the governor, your God's voice is little heard. The Almighty, it turns out, is easily deterred. God has forsaken Ishmael law, or so he thinks. God may be easily deterred, sir, but I'm not. Then you had better get to work, for the good folk of the Harrows teeter on the brink. What can you tell me about Covenant Beach? Not much, sir. There's a locked warehouse there. The ghost that haunts this store hid the key. That was Mistress Walcott's storehouse, the centre of her business. It's derelict. But you've been there of late, haven't you? I found sand from the beach in your lodgings. Why did you go to the warehouse? And why would the ghost hide the key to it? Mm. I don't know what you are scraping for, mister, but you'll not find it on my boots. I'll see you later, Ishmael. Anytime, sir. Just to get the warehouse. I was literally just talking about the warehouse at Covenant Beach after that... Uh... Uh, the Perkins haunting case. Convenient that I went to the one haunting case, so it take me back to Covenant Beach. <laughs> I can finally see what's inside this damn warehouse.
All right, now it's somewhat just of a straight run there. At least if I remember correctly. So. sound like someone crying something Made it to Covenant Beach, or what's it called again? Oh yeah, Covenant Beach. This isn't over yet. I feel like the gun swings a little too much when I go for the initial aim. I have another in sight. Everything's still in place here? Yes, it is. Any doors up here? Right. Let's go find some answers. Ghostly voices stay in this place. I should have killed him. Killed that dog with my bare hands. My poor love, forgive me. Ishmael Law drinks just as much as Miss Wilcott, except he hides it. So by spilling the liquor and hiding the key to the warehouse... The ghost may be trying to stop him drinking, not her. Oh, it might be Bess. To self remembrance in our invented over day, I was paid as I sold. What's eager? Just we connect it a different way. Also, something at God's acre that I can do, I guess. You aim for the heart. I'll destroy the roots. Fuck. Oh my god. Did we miss a few? Ah! <laughs> 
Where's this? Oh, it's on this side. Oh, can I fucking tell which side it was on? One more. It's over there. How do I get to that one? Appropriate angle either. I don't think it's close enough. The roots won't remain visible for long after I take the heart. Be yeah, quick. I know. Well, maybe just from like right here. Not like I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time. Is, but I can't get the fucking angle. I just need to work on getting the angle for this thing before anything else. Close enough, like I need to be closer to get this one. Get this one from here. You can't move this cart, I know that for a fact. Because the roots are blocking it. You can't move it either way. Anything would go this way. <gasps> Angle I don't see somewhere around here. Must be. This isn't going to go up either, is it? Until I get rid of the roots. Why is this so fucking difficult? I take the heart, you take the roots. Oh my god. Oh, 
That makes it a lot easier. Make the sprint. Just how I like it. Finally, I must have been absolutely hammered. Time and distance I now see. Bess, there was no God to mind you in this miserable life, and none to welcome you to the next. What is this place? Where am I? I'm so sorry, Bess. Ishmael? My husband? There is no heaven, and yet I shall go to hell. Stop torturing yourself. Yes? But how? Why? What have you become, Ishmael Lo? You must stop all of this. Live better. So that's our discreet ghost. Best law. Ishmael has no idea she is back. He probably thinks it was a little. We need Bess's tie. That way we can make her manifest. Here, Red. The bag. There's an echo. Following an accident at home of Master Bennett, Law, which claimed the life of Miss Mrs. Bessla, born El Haji. Oh, she is Muslim. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, the Law fa family agrees to terminate Mr. Ishmael Law's uh, contract fully and with uh, immediate effect. The original price of his freedom, the sum of 330 uh, pounds, is waived. Ishmael Law, born Mafudi is a free man written master ashen written recognition of ishmael's freedom after the murder of his wife bess we found our tie we have the tie we can make Bess manifest oh, oh shit I want to go do something. You must be wife to Ishmael Law. My name is Antea Duarte. This is Red McWraith. We are banishers. Will you banish the ghost of Bess Law? Will it ease her pain? First things first. You're not after Phoebe Walcott, right? You're here for Ishmael. I don't know why I'm here. I just want the pain to stop. You've been breaking Phoebe Walcott's liquor bottles. Why? It was not me. It was Ishmael. He was dead drunk. Breaking bottles in this place. Not here in the warehouse, but in Phoebe Walcott's shop. You broke many of her bottles. Ishmael and I served a master who drank. He was a brute. He beat me. He killed me. He took Ishmael's eye. And now my husband is a drunkard. He comes here to soak his sorrows, to drown them in liquor, to draw me back against my will. 
Is that why you hid the key? I think so. I was angry. I was hollow. I spied on him. On her, too. I did what little I could to push the abyss away. You feel empty because you've lingered too long. All I know is I can stand the pain no more. Not theirs, nor mine. How did you end up here? We came from Marrakesh. We left in search of a better life. To pay our way, we signed a contract. Seven years in service to a bad man. The drunkard Bennett Law. Who, when drunk, was mean. Liquor turns men and women evil. I know it. I saw it. Now, under the sway of a bad woman, my husband treads the same path. His sorrow has called me back. I remember the pain. I feel the pain so much. They must stop. I'll make them stop. You're dead a long time. Where were you when you were gone? I don't know. I was drifting. Away from the pain. Away from the terror of my death. The pain never left my thoughts. But I could feel it no more. And that was good. Now the pain is back. Now I am back. Now I feel Ishmael suffer too. It must stop. It all must stop. And I shall make it stop. You're dead a long time, Bess. What brought you back now? My husband. His drunkenness roused my pain and brought me back to him. I was nowhere and nothing. And then, all of a sudden, the world appeared with me in it and I saw Ishmael, desperate on the floor. Did his despair call you back? Is that why you stay? Maybe. I don't know. I heard Ishmael speak, and in his words there was pain. He spoke his name, the name of my killer. They brought me back, Ishmael and his pain. That woman and her poison, they must stop. They suffer. They didn't mean to bring you back. Their intentions matter not. Her madness is becoming his. I am trapped in their pain. I am trapped in their pain because of her sway over my husband, and I want it all to stop. We'll take our leave. Expect to be invited to manifest again sometime soon. Don't resist the call. Ishmael and Phoebe will be there. Who? Your husband and his friend. Between us, we'll put an end to all of this. Be quick. I can barely hear my Ishmael now, above the rising, growing pain. All right. This way. <laughs> now that this is unlocked. That was a random ass boulder. Yeah. 
cook. Something up there. Maybe this connects. Well, we finally unraveled this sad case. Sick dance, isn't it? Ishmael and Phoebe remind me of when I stood for a time. I remember. Going further and further. Oh, I'm on this side of things. You know, I'm on this side of uh, this area. Something's nearby. Where is it? And we can reconnect this area. There we go. Okay. Started towards the shelter here and a fast travel back to town. Can I join in too? Back to the main town. Now let's put an end to this haunting case. Mr. McGrath, welcome back. This smell's not feeling well. Best leave him be. More trouble? He had another episode. Same as before. He's fine now. I gave him a drink. And this time, he took it. Ishmael has history with liquor. Should you be offering him drink? I'm the town drunk. What else am I supposed to do? Anyway, he's got a dry stick up his ass. It'll do him good to wet it. It is liquor. I suspect you may be overestimating its medicinal qualities. I didn't have extensive experience. I am better placed to estimate the power of liquor than anyone. Side, he always turns it down. Shame, really. Nothing like a sip or two to soothe a troubled soul. Yeah, probably it's not separate. Is haunted by the ghost of his wife. But even without her, this whole situation is a mess. Time we all had a wee chat. You too, Bess. Come on. It's time to show yourself. Phoebe Walcott, this is Bess Law. Bess, you already know Phoebe. Bess? My love? How? I thought I was dreaming. You were really here? I was. I am now. 
and not for long, please. Oh, your best, the best, his best. Ishmael is fine, don't worry. Or, well, he will be soon. Ishmael has been drinking as much as you do. Liquor won't solve the problem here. Of course it won't, but we'll have some fun while we wait to not solve anything. You will make him suffer, woman, and I cannot stand the pain. Talk not to me about pain, lady. You know nothing of my pain. Shut your mouth, Phoebe. You shoot yours if you can take the bottle from it. Stop rattling each other's nice. cages. It's time to bring this to a close. I mean, are either one to actually blame? They've both been through something and they just drowned their sorrows in a bottle. It's not really her fault that he was drinking. I think it's time for Best Law to ascend. Best Law? You have lingered between worlds for many years, unable to find the peace denied to you by your murder. Fueled by alcohol, Ishmael's guilt awakened your pain and brought you back. Then make it stop, all of you. I beg you, because if you don't... I release you, Bess. I let you go. I'll change. I'll leave Phoebe if I must. You were a grand man once, my Ishmael. Find peace and give me mine. You've suffered long enough. Go now and go for good. Ascend. You have been here. was right. We are not good for each other. Come on. Let's go too. I'm sorry. Oh man. <laughs> 